Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I can't wait to show you the projects I made for you tonight. I had so much fun today stamping and one of them I actually just completed at like 640. So <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Hi Janet, welcome. Hi Beth. I am going to get my computer set up here so that I can see your comments and hi Donna hi Kathy welcome I hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend um, I spent the weekend with my mom and I also did a home party over by her on Saturday that was super super fun hi Kathy Pat Suzette welcome Randy glad to have you hi Paula okay I have myself on here let me get my comments up so I can keep monitoring them okay thank you for the share so for those of you guys that are on already if you click on that share button sharing is caring I really appreciate it it does help me out hi Mary Charlene Rose welcome um, I appreciate all those shares and I do give away a prize every week for people that have shared my video. Hi Elizabeth, I was in your neck of the woods this weekend. <laughs> Marsha, Mary, welcome. Cynthia, thank you for the share. I appreciate it. Lori, welcome. Hi Sarah, I see some of my newest uh, discount shopper team members coming on. I'm always happy to see that. I'm glad you guys are watching me. Hi Ella. So, um, let's see. We have an announcement. And, of course, if you missed it on my Facebook business page, I did mention that the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick foil sheets are gone. So, they blew through those way faster than they anticipated. And, you know, I'm sorry to see them go, but it is what it is. Um, Paula says six more inches of snow here in Iowa. I'm so sorry. I know people are so sick of snow. Hi, Wendy Sue. Hi, Cindy. I got to spend a little time with Cindy over the weekend, too. That was nice. Hi, Sarah. Mary, welcome. Make sure you're leaving a comment, um, whether you just tell me where you're from or say hi, because you will get entered in a drawing to win prizes for your comments, for sharing my video, and also for placing your orders this week. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Kathy's on. Great to see you. So, let me see. Um, other than the Grapefruit Grove um, and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets being gone, I don't really have any other, I don't think, too important announcements. I don't have any other announcements that are very important how about we do that um hi karen hi nanette so um i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the cards that i got in the mail this week they're so so pretty this first one comes from arliss Knoop, and look at this pretty card using that butterfly gala bundle this is just so so pretty yeah and then she decorated up the inside too I love this one, Arliss, and I love these colors. So she said, um, oh, it's a thank you for drawing her name. for the, And she won the Chicken Wire Elements. And um, she said this card has been resent many times and offering it to you to do the same. And that's why she didn't sign it on the inside. So thank you, Arliss. I can always use cards. You know that. <laughs> and I'm serious about that. <laughs> I send out a lot of thank you cards. And by the way, I did start um, working on my thank you cards over the weekend. I'm hoping to get them done this weekend. So if you have placed an order with me and you are anticipating a um, thank you card, it should be on its way this week. I'm happy to announce that. And then from Brenda Mock from Fond du Lac sent me this cute little card. And she was saying um, thank you for helping her with her small ordering roadblock. So you guys, if you ever go online to place an order and you run into problems, please feel free to contact me. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of doing it once and then you kind of get the gist of it. Sometimes there might be a problem going on or you can't find where to put your celebration items in. Um, I'm always here to help you, so and I'm happy to do that. Please make sure you contact me if you're having problems. Hi, Becky. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tina. 
Hi, Linda. And then I got a card from D. Esplana. And D is from Caparis Cove, Texas. Look at this beautiful card. Like, holy cow. Ready? Yeah. Isn't that fancy? Knocked my socks off, D. This was amazing. And um, it's a thank you card for the inspiration that I share with her. So very, very cool. Thank you, D. This is gorgeous. And let's see, I've got one more here. And this is from Shelby White. Oh, and I have to share this. Shelby, I did a workshop for over the weekend. But check this out. Isn't that just cute? The card opens up. It's like a half a circle. Absolutely love this. What a very creative idea. Love, love, love. So I got some really fun mail this week. Oh, and I got some bills and I paid them. Uh, that wasn't fun, but I did get some fun mail. Everybody should get fun mail in their mailbox at least once a week. So send your, send your friends some cards so that all they're getting is not bills because that's hateful, right? <laughs> okay, so we've been having a lot of fun over on my um, VIP Facebook page. If you have not been joining me for... Um, exclusive videos and you've placed an order with me, you need to contact me so I can get you into that group, okay? The best way for you to do that is to friend me on Facebook and then send me a private message saying, Kelly, put me in your VIP group. All the, Everyone who has ordered from me gets put in the VIP group. I did some giveaways this way and I'm going to, or this week, I should say for last week, I did an um, exclusive video on Friday and I have a winner tonight and I know one of my winners is watching so I am super happy to announce that Suzette Lewis you are the winner of the elephant builder punch and the little elephant stamp set this is a bundle and I'm so excited to send this to you so congratulations on that and then I also had one last pack of chicken wire elements left. And the big winner on that was Tundra Hudson of Amanda, Ohio. Oh, and Suzette Lewis is from North Fort Myers, Florida. So congratulations, ladies. I'm happy to be sending these prizes to you. And remember, if you should be on my VIP group, please contact me. Friend me, private message me, and let me know so that I can get you in there so you can win stuff too. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Diana. And then we have prizes from last week. Um, I am excited to announce that Linda Bunce of Sun City, West Arizona. Linda, I know you're watching tonight. You are the big winner of some frosted floral flowers. No, is that what it is? Frosted flower embellishments. I knew I was missing something there. Yay, Linda. She says congrats. Um, hi, Steve Atchison, who provided me with the most amazing meal. I have to tell you guys something funny. Right before I come came in here tonight, <laughs> he's on his iPad, and he informed me that he's looking for the motorcycle that I'm going to buy him <laughs> because he wants a different Harley, and so I'm apparently going to buy him one. <laughs> We laughed and laughed. Well, I laughed and laughed as I walked back down the hall and closed the door <laughs> to come in here and spend some time with you guys because I thought that was pretty funny. But didn't he make me an amazing supper tonight? Holy cow. Um, and by the way, I didn't eat that whole steak. I only ate half of it. And the um, steak and the mushrooms and the asparagus were just delicious. And then earlier today, you guys, I know I am so spoiled. Earlier today, he made me a salad, so he put together some um, spinach leaves and red, or um, yeah, red and green peppers, and um, I don't squash, and I threw some mushrooms in there before he cooked them up for the steak, and then what was that? What else was in there, Steve? Oh, radishes! It was just delicious. So. Yeah, Suzette says, Steve, you can have, I'll buy you a new motorcycle if you buy me a new truck. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit today, too. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I took his car for the weekend, and it was fine. I mean, we've got three vehicles here, but 
I don't know. I'm just hem hawing around. Ugh. Okay, so Pamela says, how's the no Pepsi going? Well, Pam, I'm drinking water. And I have to say, I was a little discombobulated for a few days last week. Um, just fumbling with stuff and, you know dropping things and making mistakes and some of my videos were pretty funny last week because I just screwed them all up <laughs> and you know I just left it in there because it is what it is you know we all have those days right um and I felt kind of crummy for a couple days too but I am starting to feel better and my um coach who might be watching tonight Bev um, she told me that I'll start to feel better and start to feel like I have more energy. And I think I'm actually doing that because yesterday we went, um, me and my mom went to uh, the Amish store. They have stuff there really, really cheap. So I got a whole bunch of tape for like 50 cents a roll. So yeah. And um, <laughs> Steve says, Pam, she is crabby. No soda. <laughs> I'm not really that crabby. I did get a little cranky last week. I remember chewing his butt about something, but it's over with. Um, so, yeah, the caffeine thing, I had the headaches, you know, ugh, it was horrible. Um, but, you know, things could be much worse, so no big deal, got through it. And um, I am starting to feel a little better. Tomorrow I'm going to step on the scale when I get up and see if I lost some weight. And I'm pretty sure that I have. My stomach doesn't feel so bloated. So um, Lisa just asked me, Coach, what are you doing? I am doing, hmm, let me grab it because I can't remember the name of it. Octavia. 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 O-P-T-A-V-I-A. And it's a program that comes with um, fueling, which is little um, like protein bars and all kinds of food options, shakes and stuff like that. So I eat one lean and green meal a day and then um, I eat this for my fueling. So every two hours, I eat every two hours. And I have to say that I was pretty hungry last week, but that's kind of, it's subsiding now. And my coach did tell me that if I get hungry to, you know, have, um, have something to eat. And so she said, you can eat more of your feelings. You can eat more than, um, every two hours if you're feeling hungry. And, and I, you know, I, I could handle it. So uh, I want to lose weight. So I don't want to be eating extra stuff. But anyways, I'll let you guys know what my scale says in the morning. Cause you know, you always have to weigh yourself right when you get up in the morning before you start pounding the water. It is sucking the joy right out of my life, I might add. <laughs> um, but I'm getting used to it. And that's what I have, water. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there is a little um, strawberry lemonade. It's like crystal light packets that comes with this program. And, um, oh, somebody just said they lost 45 pounds on this. Who was that? Come back to me. Here we go. There you go. And she said, pickle spears are a lifesaver. So I need to remember to eat those too. Um, I took a big thing of celery up to my mom's house. And then Steve made me some chicken in some riced cauliflower mushrooms and some green stuff that was in there. I don't know what it was, but it was really good. And um, I forgot my celery at my mom's house. So celery is another good one and I can eat celery. So yeah. So anyways, for those of you that are new tonight, I am losing weight um, because my daughter is getting married in August and well, I feel terrible. So, but then the secondary reason is my daughter's getting married in August and I do not want to look horrible in those pictures of that last for the rest of our lives, right? And I want to feel good about myself again. So that's why I'm doing it. And Rhonda loves pickles. I, I'm not a real big pickle fan, but I'll eat them. I mean, they're fine, but I've never been like, ooh, I want a pickle. That's never happened for me. <laughs> oh, and Cindy's been doing Weight Watchers and lost 40 pounds. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah, Linda says, um, weigh yourself without jewelry, PJs, and artificial nails. Oh, I forgot to cover my nail. I broke my nail. You guys are going to have to just deal with that ugliness tonight. So, um... Anyways, I need to go get my nails done, too. Let's get on to our next winner. I have the dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder that I am going to be giving to Heather Kohler of Menasha, Wisconsin. 
Congratulations, Heather. Heather won this by sharing the video. So, oh, and Linda says she lost 40 pounds on a low carb diet. Mine is low carb also. Um, and Steve said, you know, I, you're on a low carb diet and so I'm gonna be on a low carb diet too. So he's doing it with me also. Um, you know, of course he eats more than I do because he's a man and they eat a lot. And but congratulations, Heather. And then I've kind of got the hiccups a little bit. Diana Canada from Madison, Alabama. You are the winner of the Crackle Paint background stamp. You are going to love this. Diana um, was chosen from the orders that I got this week. So congratulations, Diana. I am happy to give this to you. And I'm hoping to get to the post office tomorrow, you guys, with all this stuff. The crown looks heavy. Yeah, I'll take that off. Don't worry, I'll take that off first thing when I get up in the morning. <laughs> Rose, you're so funny. Hi, Tina. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Um, yeah, Becky, it really is nice that he's supporting me because he does all the cooking. If he didn't support me, I would have to do my own cooking, and we know that doesn't go well. I'm a, I'm fine cooking. Like, I know how to cook, and I, I, I make good food. I'm not a terrible cook or anything. I just really hate it. I hate to cook, and I hate to grocery shop. I'd rather scrub toilets than go grocery shopping. I'm not even kidding about that. So... It's really nice that he is helping me to do that. I do appreciate it so much. And you know, it'll probably make the whole thing easier too, I'm hoping. So anyways, um, if you guys are interested in getting any information on this program, please let me know. Just private message me and I can hook you up with my coach. She has been incredibly helpful. And um, she messages me every day to see how I'm doing. And um, yeah, it's, oh. Tina said the post office closed tomorrow. Well, then Tuesday. Thanks for telling me that so I don't run there. That would be annoying. Yeah, it's President's Day tomorrow, isn't it? All right. What else can I tell you here? Um, don't forget to share my video. Don't forget I have orders going in every Thursday. I had um, my sweet little... Betty Whitmore from Holly, Michigan this morning. I talked to her on the phone and placed an order for her. You're always welcome to get help with your orders if you need help. I'm always here to do that. And I have orders going in every Thursday too. So if you're local, um, I'm more than happy to add your order to the orders that I have going in. And what else? Join my online club. When you place a $25 order every month for six months, you'll get a credit of $30 to order anything that you want. And um, you have to tell me that you're in the club. I will send you all the details and then you have to keep track of your orders so that at the end of your six month period, you can send me the form and I will get your $30 credit. So I like pay for $30 of your order, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, and um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to mention, so I've had so many new discount shoppers join my team. If you're interested, I have, um, right now during celebration till the end of March, you can get our discount shopper kit for $99 plus tax. There's no shipping on it. You get to choose $175 in product of anything you want. And somebody will say, can I get a big shot with that? Yeah, you can get anything you want except celebration items. Those you can only get with a when you're with your qualifying order. And um, getting this, this discount shopper kit is not an order. It's a discount shopper kit. So once you get the kit, then you can place your own orders, get a 20% discount, and get those celebration items. So... Once you're a discount shopper on my team, you get all the benefits that customers get, plus that 20% discount. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, let's see. I think we're ready to start. Oh, the one thing I wanted to tell you is you cannot order the discount shopper kit from a tablet or your phone. It won't work. So if you're going to go online, um, if you go to my blog, www.estampabove.com, Go down the right-hand column, and you'll see $99 kit. Go there, and all the links are in there. But you will um, you will need to use a computer, not a tablet or a phone. And hi, Lisa Kashevsky. I'm happy to see you tonight. I know I say every week that I miss you, and I really do. Okay, time to stamp, ladies. And I don't know if we have any gentlemen on, but if there are any gentlemen on, time to stamp. 
Where did my, oh, I'm going to do this basket first. So I have some really, really pretty cards to share with you tonight. And we have some new products. Oh, I need a brochure. Hang on. It's under my desk. Isn't that weird? Like, it's under your desk? Oh, it's not down here. I don't know what I did with it. Heavens. Um, I'll find it later. Anyways, who's in love with this frost or with this country floral embossing folder? Oh, so Cindy says she ordered her kit on her iPad tablet. Well, that's an iPad, but I think other tablets don't work. And I could be wrong about that, but that's what I've been told by Stamping Up. Tablets and phones you cannot order. Maybe they changed it so now tablets work, but I know I'm pretty, pretty sure that phones don't work. So you're just better off being on a computer. And let's see. We are going to use this Country Floral Embossing Folder. This is the new release, just started Friday. One of the free items you can get with your $50 order. It's one of the new celebration products. And then I'm also going to use this Life is Grand stamp set because it's beautiful. The images in it are, are distinctive um, images and they're just so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to flip my phone down. Don't forget to share my video for those of you that are new that just got on here. Sharing is caring. <laughs> oh, Melanie says hers is coming Tuesday. Good for you. And it's on Vicky's list. Yeah, it's one of those that you have to have. And I really do encourage you guys, don't wait around to, um, to order and get these new products free because I once these are gone, um, as far as I am aware, they're not carrying over into our big catalog. And so they're gone. Once they're gone, they're gone. And I don't want you to be feeling like, oh, I wish I would have got that. So just know that. And somebody said they they do they order starter kits on their iPad all the time or tablet. Well, I was told by the home office after somebody had problems that Tablets and phones will not work. That's the information I got. So I always use my laptop. If somebody calls me and says, can you order my kit for me? I will do it. I will do it for you. And um, I always use my laptop, so I've never run into those problems. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys around. If you get motion sickness, please um, close your eyes, and you'll hear me rattling away when it's time to open them. Cindy says, did you see it embossed on the foil sheet that Kelly did? Oh, yeah, that foil card was beautiful. Yeah. Okay, hang on, guys. We're going to flip you. That was pretty seamless. Let me get you set up here. And, oops. Oh, I need to unmirror you. Hang on. Otherwise, everything will be backwards and take that light off and we'll put some more light in here. And I do have my phone plugged in for those of you guys who are just the nicest people to remind me to do that. I do have my phone plugged in. So thank you for those reminders because <laughs> if you remember, oh, you can open your eyes now. If you remember once upon a time, I actually ran, my battery went dead in my phone and I lost all of you and it was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? One of those things. Okay. So, I'm excited to show you this card. And um, I know I said before that I actually um, finished a card at 640. What I meant to say was I started a new card for you at 640 and I go live at 7. <laughs> yeah. And this was just an extra that I made. And it was a very last minute, obviously. I'm like, oh, I need to do something with this folder because it's so pretty. So I've got basic black, four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored that at five and a half. I just burnished that edge. Then I've got a piece of petal pink that's four by five and a quarter. I've got a whisper white layer the same size, and then whisper white that's two by four, and basic black that's two and an eighth by four. And we are going to do our stamping here first. So I'm gonna bring in my Memento ink pad. And my computer isn't keeping up with my um, comments. So if I miss one of your um, questions, you guys, just say, hey, Callie, answer my question. And I'll try to watch for that. 
First thing I'm going to do here is bring in the Hello. Now, this Life is Grand stamp set is absolutely incredibly gorgeous. And I'm going to see if you can see the detail in that. Yeah, the lighting is getting kind of funny when I get it too close. But it's so, so pretty. I'm going to stamp that in Memento Ink. And I'm going to put it right over here on the side of my 2 inch by 4 inch piece. It's just delicious, isn't it? Look at how, oh, let me see if I can get the light on that better. Oh, there we go. Isn't that so, so pretty? Yeah, I love these distinctive stamps. Okay, I'm going to close this up before I dip my card in it. We all know I'm really good at that part. <laughs> here comes my petal pink ink. And I'm going to take this little two inch layer and I'm going to give it a nice big flower right there. This is also a distinctive stamp, you guys. And where's my, um, hang on, let me find that stamp set. Mm, right here behind me. This is also a new offering called Painted Seasons. Now with this, you can get this and the designer series paper. We're gonna be using this again and the paper tonight too for a fun fold. You're gonna love it because it's stinking adorable. But here is the paper. You get three sheets, and these are all double-sided, okay? So you get three sheets of each design of this pretty, pretty paper. I love the little mushrooms, and somebody said it looks like curtains from the 70s, and it does, right? So some beautiful, beautiful paper. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Um, a big pack of designer series paper with this stamp set. Both of these together, you get free with a $100 order. So I'm gonna be using that again. Now, this is the succulent flower that I just put on my greeting layer, and isn't that so, so pretty? Let's see, I wanna make sure that I've got this in the light right. These are just gorgeous. Okay, I think I did, I think I did good. Hi, Jannie, how are you? I'm glad to see you watching tonight. Okay, next. Um, oh, I, I need to do just a couple more little flowers here, and I just kind of wanted to fill this in a little bit more, just like that. It just really adds some neat interest to our sentiment layer. And we're going to glue that onto the black layer. Now remember, this is only an eighth of an inch bigger. And I like that just tiny pop of black that comes out from behind the greeting, right? Because that's really going to look cool on our card. Then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inside layer and I'm also going to stamp that and I'm going to put a flower here and maybe a flower there and a little bit right there. And Isn't that going to be pretty on the inside of your card? You can write right over it. Petal pink is a very light color so you can write over the flowers if you want to or you can write around them. Or if you want a short message in there, you can just write up here and then sign your name over here. I'm sure you know how to write inside of a card, right? <laughs> I don't need to tell you how to do that. Okay, next I'm going to bring in the Sprig Punch. This carried over from our holiday mini catalog. And I'm just gonna punch two of these out of some vellum cardstock. And we're gonna attach these to the back of this layer. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of tape here and put both of these on here. Now I'm kind of looking at them from the front. I don't want them to look all the same, right? I want them to look a little bit different. And let's see if I can get this tape on here without letting anything wiggle away. Yay, I did it. Okay, so far so good. We're doing good tonight. I haven't ruined anything yet. I haven't embossed something I was supposed to stamp on first. That's what happened on my VIP video on Friday. Oh my Lord, I had to do things over. Like there were three complete colossal mess ups on there. <laughs> it was pretty funny. All right, petal pink. Let's bring the big shot in for that. I want you guys to see all the magic happen with this because this is so incredibly beautiful. So we're gonna just put this in our embossing folder. This is one of our dynamic folders, which means it's super extra thick and it embosses super extra deep. And you only need one cutting plate on top of the um, multi-purpose platform. Let 
can get this out of the way. Okay, somebody asked something. You said the occasions, I believe. Who asked a question here? Yeah, so you can go online. And yes, um, the petal pink has a peachy tone. So I think it's more peachy than it is pink, Rhonda. That answers your question. And I don't know who asked something and somebody said it was in the occasions catalog. Hmm, I don't know. You'll have to ask again. Michelle says, oh, Linda, she's talking to Linda. Hang on, you guys, I need to find this question. Which catalog is the stamp set from? This stamp set is from the Occasions Mini Catalog. Good question, Linda. Um, anyway, when you're going online to do your orders, all you have to do is type in the name and it'll pull it right up. You, you know, you can do a little search for it. If I forget to say what catalog you should be looking in. And isn't that just absolutely delicious? I know, right? It is so incredibly beautiful. Now, this was a card that took me approximately 10 minutes from start to finish, and I had to cut for two of them because I made this card, and then I had to cut all the stuff so I could make it again for you right here. 10 minutes, two cards. Now I got this on here crooked. <laughs> Let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing. It's better if you can put your head over top, right? And this is gonna go on the front. Because this embossing folder is so beautiful and the greeting is you know, equally beautiful, you do not need to do much to a card to make it spectacular using these two. And even the stamp set, like these three things are incredibly beautiful. Oh, and Melanie says that the spring punch is on low inventory. So um, yeah, if you wanna get that, you're gonna to wanna to order it soon. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Now, I'm not done yet because I want a very pretty envelope to go with this. And I decided to decorate up the flap here. I just take a piece of typing weight paper and slide my, I've got it folded here and I slide my envelope in there. And we're gonna decorate this flap up so that whoever gets this in the mail is gonna like gasp when they open their mailbox. What do you guys think? Do you think you would gasp? Would this make you happy to get a beautiful envelope like that in the mail? I think it would. <laughs> I know, I would be very happy with it. So there we go. Painted Seasons is um, free with the Designer Series paper with your $100 order. Country Floral is free with your $50 order right now until the end of March or while supplies last. So like I said, if this is something that you really, really want, please don't wait. I hate it when people are sad because things are gone. And the way things have been going at Stamping Up, they are selling so many more of each product than they um, anticipated. That's why we're having, you know, some things are back ordered and um, some things are out of stock because they just can't predict the huge amount of punches that are being ordered. Um, they're way over what our normal quota is that people order. So it's kind of a crazy thing. And I'm really happy. I mean, it's a crummy situation, but I'm super happy about it because guess what? My company is doing very, very well. And that makes me happy, right? Oh, here is some Calypso Coral. I um, die cut this the other day. Isn't that just beautiful? So this would look equally gorgeous. All you have to do is change your color. You can make a whole rainbow. You know what? Make a whole rainbow of these and put them in one of the cute boxes I've shown you how to make and give them as a gift. How quick and easy is that? <gasps> Great idea, right? Love it. Okay. I am going to set this aside because now we're going to bring in some more fun. We're gonna use this again. I don't think we're using petal pink, so I'm gonna put that away. And the spray punch. Next, let's see, where's my other bin here? What's this card? Oh, I know. Um, I'm gonna do the fun fold first. Well, no, I'm gonna do these first. I've got so many cool things to show you guys tonight. I'm super excited. 
like I said, I had a lot of fun creating stuff today. And uh, I'm excited to be able to show it to you. Now, I'm going to get a whole bunch of ink pads out here, but I don't want you to freak out going, oh, my Lord, because um, there's only a couple colors on each card. I'm actually going to be using the envelopes, note cards and envelopes. You get a whole pack of these. There's 20 note cards. They're already scored for you, and you get matching envelopes. And I always get this question is, can you mail these through the mail? Yes, you can. Note cards and envelopes, 20 of them in a pack for $6.50. So these are great to make up little gift sets, but they're also nice to grab and make a quick card. And what do I gonna have? Oh, um, we are using, hang on, where did my stamp set go? Right here. We're gonna be using the Painted Season stamp set for the set of note cards and envelopes. And um, here we go. Get out my dimensions. Whoops, I just ripped my, got some linen thread here. I've got four note cards and four envelopes and a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. So, let me tell you about the dimensions. Oh, and you guys, as soon as my video, as soon as I'm done with this live video, I post it to my Facebook page so that it'll stay there and other people who can't watch it live can catch it later. But, um... I put all the dimensions above the video. So I go back into the description that right now just says Facebook Live 21719. And I put in all the dimensions and colors that I've used. So if you want to write these down as we're doing it, that's fine. But you don't have to. And I just want you to know that. So what I've got here is I've got four pieces of Whisper White cardstock. All of these are four and five eighths by three and an eighth. And then I chose some of our colored cardstock to go behind them. And I've got um, Berry Burst, Early Espresso, <laughs> Pumpkin Pie, and Basic Black. And all of these layers are four and three quarters by three and a quarter. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do our greetings. And let me get myself arranged here so I know what's going on. These are so, so pretty. I think you guys are just gonna be kinda like, your mouth is gonna drop open at how gorgeous these are. I've got Daffodil Delight here. And the greeting that I chose to use is out of the part of my story stamp set. Now this stamp set is also a celebration stamp set. You get all six of these greetings in their funky little fonts for free and it's called part of my story. I'm going to stamp a Daffodil Delight and let me clean that off. Then I'm going to stamp a Mossy Meadow We'll just set that aside. I always kind of like to put my ink pads to the side when I'm using multiples of colors because it'll keep you from stamping in the wrong color. Then we're gonna bring in Berry Burst. And I'm gonna need another piece. Oh, here's another piece of um, Whisper White cardstock. I thought that one would be long enough, but it really isn't. And then, let's see. Oh, I've got two in Mossy Meadow. I could have done both of those at the same time, but we're not, we don't have it that together. I mean, I'm doing pretty good tonight, but <laughs> that's asking for a lot. <laughs> okay, now, the Tailored Tag Punch. This is a super nice little tag punch. A lot of our greetings fit in here. And I'm just going to go through, I'm gonna use this punch on all of these. So I'm just centering the greeting. And it says, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. And so I have to tell you a fun little thing. So all of my team members, I have challenged them to do a little Facebook Live introduction on our team Facebook page, which is really fun. And um, I need to send them cards because the people who are doing it are telling me, Kelly, I am absolutely terrified. I hope you know that, you know, this is really out of my comfort zone. And it's been, it's just been so cool to watch people do it because they didn't think they could and I knew they could. So I need to send those demonstrators a card. Plus the incentive is a whole bunch of free product from me. I'm gonna be doing drawings for free Stampin' Up! product for everybody that participates. 
Yeah, and Darla says, um, I think the sentiment from this set about let's get together and giggle would be fun to use on your last card. Um, it really would, wouldn't it? That would be a really fun inside greeting. I've used that on several cards that I've made so far. Okay, early espresso ink and this amazing pine cone. And I, I don't know if this video is going to do this justice, but look how absolutely detailed that is. It's so, so pretty. We're just going to, I'm kind of doing some collage stamping here, you guys. And I'm just going to fill this in. And then I'm going to bring in the fern stamp. This is another one that's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to add this in Mossy Meadow. So we used early espresso. And now I'm bringing in Mossy Meadow. This is called Painted Seasons because it's good for all seasons. This pine cone is good. I think you could make some beautiful Christmas cards with it. And the first thing that came to my head is making some of these note cards and envelopes um, with the stamp set, with the pine cone for your thank you cards for Christmas, right? These note cards and envelopes are small. And so you don't have to do a lot to them to make them spectacular. Okay, next I wanted to try maybe to make something that looks kind of fallish. Oh, you know what? Where's my envelopes? Right here. So as long as I'm making the cards, I'm making envelopes right along. I'm not making envelopes. I am stamping envelopes right along with the cards so that I have those done too. Here comes my next one, and this time I'm going to grab this beautiful, beautiful flower, and I kind of wanted this to be fall colors, so I chose pumpkin pie, and I'm just going to add these flowers kind of all, I want them to be random, I don't want it to look like, you know, I planned it this way, or in a row, or whatever, I wanted them to be very random, let me get this cleaned off, stamp and chamois, mm, I love this thing. There we go. And then I'm going to bring that fern back in, in the mossy meadow. And I'm just going to do this in the blank spaces. What do you guys think so far? Isn't this just so pretty? Look at how pretty that is, right? It's gorgeous. Okay, once again, I'm going to bring the envelope in and... Oh, I cleaned off my stamp already. You guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. We've got a pretty flower there. Let me clean this off, and I'll clean this off. And then we've got this one, and this one, and this one. Let's see. What are we going to do next? Next, I'm going to bring my envelope out so I don't forget. How about that? Next one I'm going to do is Daffodil Delight. And... The really, um, this, this looks like a succulent. I love, love, love this little flower. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to stamp a bunch of these around here. Again, just kind of in a collage format. Did I say I was using Daffodil Delight ink? I think I did. And let's get that cleaned off. And then there's this cute little um, little spots. And I decided to bring in black for those little spots. You want to make sure that you're stamping them very lightly because if you push too hard, it squishes them. And they don't look as cute. Look at how cute that is. What do you guys think? Oh, did you guys watch me wash? Yeah. Remember the envelope? There you go. I already washed my stamp. Oh, get it together, Kelly. Okay. There we go. So I've got this one. And now I've got one more that I wanted to show you. Oh, so pretty. And I'm going to bring in that succulent flower again. And I'm going to use some Daffodil Delight here. And I'm going to stamp a few of these. Just like that. We're going to clean our stamp off. Then I'm going to bring in some pumpkin pie. Let me move this out of the way. Bring in some pumpkin pie. Stamp a few of these. One right there. And then I want to bring in my berry burst. 
and I'm going to bring my envelope in and stamp that right away. Perfect. Bring my card layer back in. Now this is just a really nice way to make up a whole bunch of cards very easily. And let's just put one more right down there. Isn't that just so, so pretty? I love these. Okay, cleaning that off. Then I'm going to come back in here with these little dotty things. They're really cute. And just kind of fill in the white space and add that black accent in there. That looks good. Don't you think so? Okay. Now, um, let me get some of this out of the way. I'm going to show you what I did here. So let's put this one, we'll put the pine cone one together before we adhere these layers, you're going to take this punch out of the middle of each one of these pieces. And these are the layers that are going to go behind our stamped whisper white layer. Okay. So we've got all of these punches. I'm going to bring in one of the um, mossy meadows. Where's my scissors? There they are. Look at, I put them away. Yay, winning. Cut this in half, just like that. Let me get a new pad here because this one's pretty icky and it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Okay, a little bit of glue on here. And a little bit of glue on here. You're going to bring this in here. Now this is going to add a border to the top and the bottom of our label. And that just really makes it pop makes a big difference when you put it on the front of your card too because it looks really neat. Bring in some dimensionals. I've got my computer covered up here. Oh my gosh, I missed a whole bunch of comments. I'll go back and look at them, but if I missed a question, let me know. Okay, so I put my dimensionals on the top and the bottom here for a reason. I don't like my dimensionals to be stuck on my ribbon if I'm using ribbon. I happen to be using um, Baker's Twine here, or linen thread, I mean, and I do not want my label to be going on top of that, so it's going to go above and below. Look at how rich that is. That is just so, so pretty. Then, this is 38 inches. I measured it for you. So if you want to recreate these, you just measure out 38 inches. I'm going to wrap this linen thread around here three times. We're going to come right back in a little bit off to the um, left. It's not quite in the center, a little bit off to the left of the center. And I'm going to tie this in a knot and then we're going to tie it in a bow. Oh, Noreen says she loves learning new tricks from me. Thank you so much. I love teaching new tricks. I love it when I learn a new trick so I can share it with you guys because we all need more tricks, right? This is going to go right over your linen thread. And then we need to put it on the card, which is, let me look here. Did I get any? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> now, when you're stamping up the front of your layers, you should also just stamp your card. Remember I told you these are all scored. That's really cool. I'm going to burnish that edge good. I'm going to, I'm going to add quite a bit, like this is more, a little thicker glue than I would normally put on just a regular card layer, but we've got that linen thread under there and I want to make sure that my card adheres to the, or my front adheres to the card. I did that. And then while you've got everything inky, you guys, I didn't clean this stamp yet, don't forget to add a little something something on the inside of your card. Here we go. Here's our first one. Okay. And here is our second one. Beautiful, right? Here is the third card. And again, very, very pretty. 
And here is that fourth one that's kind of fall colors. What do you guys think? Isn't this just a neat idea? Note cards and envelopes. You get 20 of them for $6.50. And it's just a great way to um, make some quick cards. And I thought, as long as you guys saw me do one of these, you didn't need to see me do all four of them, but I wanted to show you the elements that I did to get to the four. All right, that leaves us time for our next project. Oh, before I forget, you guys, this Painted Seasons, just so you know, starting March 1st, um, we have a promotion going where we're going to have some coordinating products come out, matching some of our celebration items. And so the Painted Seasons will have a set of framelit dies that you can get. Um, and what I kind of recommend is get your Painted Seasons with the Designer Series paper now, and then you can worry about getting some of these coordinating products in March. That's a great way to kind of spread it out, right? So you're not having to um, put so much out at once. Or wait, you can get your Painted Seasons now and then you can get your Framelits later. Did I miss any questions, you guys? Hi, Heather, did you see that you won tonight? You were one of the winners. Yay! All right, let me get all of these put away. Not put away, out of my way. How about that? And I'm just going to set these right over to the side so I can bring them back out at the end. This put away. Okay, we can get on. The next one is a fun fold, you guys, and I think you are going to love it. I think it's stinking adorable. My husband even thought it was pretty cool. So it's got the Steve seal of approval. I think you'll like it. Okay, I'm going to leave all my stamp sets up here too. Whoops. What are you guys drinking tonight? You know my story. I'm drinking water. <laughs> yep. I need to get a better attitude about it because you know it's sucking the joy right out of my life. <laughs> you know that it is. Okay, I have two more cards. What time is it? Oh, 7.51. We are doing great. Now, this uses, hang on here, the designer series paper from the um, Painted Seasons Bundle. This is part of that designer series paper from the bundle I just showed you. Oh, I need to get my paper cutter out and I have an envelope to decorate. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do, I've got a pool party base. This is the base of the card. It's four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. So we're going to score this on the long edge at three eighths and that's just an eighth of an inch smaller than a quarter. Or yeah, a quart. Is that right? La, 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 la. Let me think about that. I think I got that wrong. One, two, three. It's an eighth of an inch <laughs> under a half. Okay, so I was doing it right. I'm like, my card's turned out. Three eighths, just three eighths. Here I'm trying to be helpful and I'm probably confusing the heck out of people. Um, and then I turned it around here and I'm going to do one and three eighths. Two and seven eighths, and three and seven eighths. And again, all of these measurements and scoring dimensions will be listed in the description above the video after I'm done and I have it posted. The next thing I've got here is a piece of lemon lime twist that is three by four and seven eighths. We're going to score that at three eighths and one and three eighths. Notice I turned it around. My three eighths score is here and now I'm going to one and three eighths. Okay, so we've got both of those scored. Then I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. I mean, <laughs> lemon lime twist. And then I've got the designer series paper. Now this piece of paper is four by four and a quarter. Isn't that pretty? And then, this is the pine coney paper, but look at the background, and I thought this would match really nicely with this because it's pool party. So this is lemon lime twist and pool party, and then this is pool party. Um, this little piece 
is two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then I've got Lemon Lime Twist, that's four by four and a quarter, and Whisper White, that's four by three and three quarters. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is bring back in that little succulent flower that I love. I need to make sure that this is cleaned off. Where did my, oh, here's my chamois. Hang on, let me get this all cleaned off. Oh, I see a lot of people drinking water. Thanks, thanks for the support. <laughs> I know you're drinking water just to support me, right? <laughs> and I'm totally kidding, I know better. You guys are healthy people, that's why you're drinking water. Okay, so we're gonna take this Whisper White layer and we are going to, um, did I get out the pool party? No, I think I put it, oh, hang on, ink pad. Oh, I've still got stuff in here, that's why I'm like, where's my ink pad? We're getting the pool party ink pad out and I'm going to just stamp one of these beautiful little flowers right down in the corner. I'm gonna glue this together right away. Right to this piece. And this is just centered, okay? So we got that done. I am going to take, I've got the two inch circle punch and the starburst punch here. So I'm gonna punch out a starburst out of lemon lime twist and I actually need one for the next card too so I'm just going to do that right away and set it aside and then hmm, I forgot my scrap of whisper white you need a scrap of whisper white let me grab one here here comes a scrap and let's see where my stamp is here it is I'm gonna use, again, from part of my story, I'm gonna use the I'm so glad you are part of my story. And anybody that is your friend qualifies for this card because they're part of your story, right? So I love that saying. We're just gonna stamp that right here. I use Memento Black ink. And then I'm gonna come in, well, let's punch it first. We'll do two inch, two inch circle punch. Just gonna center that and punch that out. Oh, Kathy switched to her last Coke. Is it your last Coke because you need to go to the store or? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little flower down here and just a little flower up there. And isn't that so pretty? Look at how pretty that is. I love this stamp set. Okay, glue. We're gonna glue this on to our Starburst. Did you guys see what I did with my dimensionals? I do not know. I might have, oh, here's some. Of, these are different. I don't know what I did with my other ones. A couple dimensionals on here. We're gonna pop this up on our front of our fun fold card. Okay, so that's ready to go. <clears throat> All right, we're ready to do this. We're ready to do this, people. Okay, fold down your score lines, burnish. Now, I'm gonna use tear and tape for my um, adhesive for the fold parts because when you fold cardstock, it always wants to, like if you fold it like this, it always wants to go like that. It wants to go back to its original form. And if you don't use an adhesive that is strong enough to keep it from doing that, your card will fall apart. And I, that's like a nightmare. I do not want my stuff falling apart. So we've got all these score lines here. Now this is gonna go just like this, but we need to put this designer series paper in here first. So I'm gonna do that on this big panel. And then I'm gonna grab my tear and tape. So, this is gonna go like this. You want tear and tape right on this piece right here. And don't you love this stuff? I've started using it more and more. It's just so nice because you can just tear it. 
You don't have to cut it, and then it makes your scissors all sticky. Oh, I hated that. This is so nice. Okay, ready? Now, don't try to go like this and get it straight and all of that and whatever. Bend this over. My tab is bent over. Fold it on the second. Yep, second score line here. So we've got this. this. We're going to fold that down like that, and then you're going to stick it. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I love saying that. Okay, next we're going to take this little piece that we have and we're going to add some tear and tape to that. So let's see, I need it to be about this long. On this tab right here, we're going to put some tear and tape. Whoops, I got it kind of crooked. And it doesn't really, you don't really have a second chance with this, so be careful when you put it down to get it in the right spot, okay? So this is gonna go on there like that. I've got tear and tape on here. Now I'm gonna turn it over and put some down here at the bottom. And once you um, cut all your pieces and go to make one of these, you're gonna totally get where your tape needs to be. Now, if you want to, you can make it with um, glue. And hold on to your card for a couple days. Don't send it out right away. Make sure that it stays together, but I just really like to use tear and tape for um, fun fold like these that are going to push back on me. All right, I am peeling off the backing. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to just flatten your card out like this, flatten it out. This piece is going to go right down here on the bottom, and I'm centering it. Okay, this piece right here, I'm folding it under. And just want to make sure. Yep. Okay, so I'm folding it, push it down, fold the little tab under, and stick it to your card. This is what we have now. Do you see what's happening here? This is called a flat pop up card. Great question, Donna. Flat pop up card. Okay, it will sit up just like this. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so let's finish this. Now we're gonna add this piece, and you could have added all these pieces before you put it together. We're gonna add this piece right here, that pretty designer series paper in that pool party color, goes with the rest of our card. And then we're going to put this right here in the middle. And then I'm going to grab my pool party glimmer ribbon, and I'm gonna feed it through the hole here and we're gonna tie this in a knot so that it ends up right on the top. And I'll show you in a minute exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take this. I wanna make sure that it stays nice and tight. Oh, and I didn't quite leave enough, so it's gonna give me grief. Let me pull some more in there. <laughs> I was trying to be too chintzy with my ribbon. Now I think I got it. And I did it again. It's really tiny, so don't try to be so cheapy with your ribbon. Okay. I just got my scissors sharpened when I went to Michigan. That was awesome. They are working like they were when they were brand new. Okay, you guys, look at that. The ribbon goes right up there. Isn't that pretty? And now we're going to take this and put it on the back. And this is where you're going to do your writing. Again, this is called a flat pop-up card. It is very easy to make. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Oh, and Kathy says she loves my sweater sleeves. Yeah, this is a great sweater. We got this in um, Orlando at the on stage event. We were able to, we had some clothing that we could purchase with the Stampin' Up logos on it. So I really like it. It's very comfortable. Super cute, right? So who would like to see a different version of this? Yeah. Oh, let me talk about this first. Let's bring our envelope back in here. And I'm going to bring this cute little succulent and put it right here. This 
folds down and fits right in an envelope for flat mailing. So you can mail this and then the people will get it and it sits up just like that. Yay, I love these. I love fun folds. You guys know that about me, right? Yeah, I'm kind of a fun fold junkie. That and techniques, I really like techniques too. Okay, let me clean this off. And I've got another super cute one. This one will not take but five minutes maybe. I've got most of it ready to roll so far. You're gonna love this because the reason why I actually thought of making a card like this was because I loved, let me grab it, I loved, loved, loved this 70s mushroom paper. It looks like the curtains from the 70s, right? And when I saw the mushrooms, I'm like, hmm, that would look cute with the frog from So Happy Together, right? Yeah, so that's where this whole idea came from. And then I thought this was a pretty color combination and would be beautiful as a flat pop-up card also. So let me show you what else I made. Um, where's my card stack layers? Right here. So I'm going to just do a couple elements of this for you. Now, I'm using the So Hoppy Together. This is a free stamp set um, during celebration. You can get this free with your $50 order. One of the favorites. This is also another one. Let me grab the framelits for that. So if you wanted to get, you know, place an order to get this free this month, you can spread it out again. And then in, in March, you can place an order. These are not free. These framelits that are um, coordinating with celebration stuff are not free. You buy them. It's our March promotion. But look at these awesome framelits that go with this stamp set. You get a lily pad and some flowery things. Um, a little crown. Super, super cute. This is just adorable. So that's what's happening. Going to match this. You can't get this till March 1st, but you can get this now. All right, let me show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, I'm going to bring this back in. Oh, this was my scrap of the Whisper White. Remember, I said, oh, I don't have a scrap of Whisper White. There it is. I knew I had gotten one out. I am not insane. Well, I'm kind of a little, maybe a little bit insane. <laughs> not completely. How about that? Okay, I'm going to take this cute little guy with the glasses. I just adore him. He is the sweetest. And I'm going to stamp him on here. Then I'm going to grab, what did I do with that circle punch, you guys? That's not, oh, here it is right here. I'm going to punch him out, and he just barely fits in there. Just like this. And then I'm going to stamp the You Can Do Anything. And again, I thought this would be a really cute card to send to my newest team members that are doing those Facebook Lives when they thought they could never, ever, ever do anything like that. But they can. The other thing I want to do here is I want to... Oh, I need to stamp another frog. Where did my set go? Right here. I think I'm going to stamp this last frog. I forgot about him. Well, I didn't forget, forget, but I forgot that I wanted to use him too. I'm going to stamp this on my envelope. Isn't that going to be super cute? Okay. Now, I am using the Granny Apple Green, and I always do the dark first. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. Before we start coloring our frog on our envelope, I want to make you aware of something. These blends bleed through to the other side, right? We all know that. So you don't want it bleeding through to this side of the envelope, and it will. So I just took a scrap. I was practicing earlier to see what I was going to do with this. I'm just going to take a scrap, and I'm going to put this inside my envelope where I'm going to color this frog so that it doesn't bleed through the other side. So just a good little tip there for you. And hang on just a second because I'm missing all my I'm missing all my comments again, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my computer won't keep scrolling them up, but it's something I have to do manually. It's making me a little cranky. No, I won't be cranky. We're happy tonight. There's just happiness tonight. All right, I like to take the darker of the blends and do my shading. So I'm gonna shade around his round little belly here, okay? 
and you want to just color kind of one thing at a time because I found that my blends will shade better if I don't leave them on there too long without blending them. So you see how it looks really kind of weird on his lip and his head? It's just a really dark mark and it's like, Kelly, that's not attractive. Keep coloring right over top of that with the lighter blend and it will blend it so that you don't see that line anymore, but you've still got the shading there that makes you look like a complete professional artist. I'm not even kidding. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here on this little part I put on his belly. I'm gonna keep coloring it until it's blended in and just looks shaded, and then it looks really, really cool. All right, let's get him colored. His belly's just gonna be green. And his little scrawny legs. <laughs> this frog has the scrawniest legs I've ever seen. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to do this one. I'm going to do the same thing on the envelope. Again, I'm just going to do my shading here. And then I'm going to come in with my lighter one and blend Blend that shading so it's not so pronounced and I look artsy fartsy. <laughs> I love saying that. There we go. I did it. I don't know what color I'm going to make his little polka dots. I hadn't really thought about that. I think I'll just make them green too. What do you guys think about my mad coloring skills? <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, Kelly. Okay, still. Oh, I watched somebody else using the Stampin' Blends on a video, and you know how I make these squeak? She said you shouldn't be pushing on them that hard. So if you're making your blends squeak, you need to lighten up on your touch. You don't need to color with them that hard, and then your tips will stay nice and um, pointy. Look at how cute. Look at how cute that is, right? Oh, don't forget his little eyelids. There's little eyelids up there. You can't leave those sitting out there all naked. Okay. See that? You can see the green on there. That would have bled through our envelope, but we saved the day. All right, are we ready to see this cute card that I came up with? Yeah, this is the one I showed to Steve, and he's like, oh, that's cool. I'll take that. <laughs> I will take that. Yeah. All right, dimensionals. Get those. You like how I just flick those off to the side? And ready, guys? Oh, look at how cute it is. So this is that mushroom layer. So remember, I had this layer in the back. This layer is the same. This layer, this layer is the same. We're going to take, you can do anything, and we're going to stick this right on the front, just like we did this one. And then I have Poppy Parade. This is our textured ribbon, and we're going to weave this through. And you know, this just goes to show that, you know, Stampin' Up's coordinating products make my designing of things so much easier because all I had to do was go look on my wall of ribbon and see which poppy or lemon lime twist ribbon I was gonna use on this. And I considered using lemon lime twist because we have some, um, but I thought this just really made this lemon lime twist pop and we're always looking for a pop, right? I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit. Oh, isn't he cute? I love, love, love him. Okay, then. We've got these layers for the back, right? So this is the same size as the layers that we used here. It is, um, the lemon lime is four and a quarter by four, and the white is four by three and three quarters. And through the magic of TV, I've already colored in this crazy little frog. I used Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade with the light black 
Stampin' Blends. And we'll get this glued together so you guys can see the card in its entirety. Yeah, if you haven't been sold on this frog set yet, mm, I highly recommend it. It is just the cutest darn thing. And who isn't going to smile when they get a card made with one of these crazy little frogs? They are so adorable. Look at that. That's super sweet. It just makes me giggle. I love this. Super cute. Both out of the same paper that goes with the Painted Seasons bundle. And I used part of my story here. That flower is just so, so pretty. And again, this is called a flat pop-up card because it folds right down and fits right into your envelope for mailing. Very cool, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me show you. Let me get all this stuff moved out of my way. Do you like how I just clear that table, sister? Get this stuff out of my way. We're going to bring back in all the deliciousness that we shared tonight. Here's the envelope that goes with this one. Don't forget when you're placing your orders, if your order is under $150, you want to use this host code. That'll get you special perks with me. If your order is over $150, you'll still get special perks with me. Don't use the host code because you'll get your own stamping rewards. And what does that host code do? When your order is under $150, that gives me the um, credit for your order as if I was a hostess of a party. And what do I do with that? That's how I give you all these free things. That's how I give you all these stamp sets and embossing folders and embellishments. Um, that's how I can get those to give away to you. So I really appreciate it when you use the host code. And it gets you entered in a drawing for a free stamp set of your choice once a month. So that's cool. What do you guys think? Did I miss anybody's comments? Because again, I'm not scrolling. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Sherry says we had 368 viewers. I think we were at 390 at one point. Sherry, thank you for telling me. That's awesome. I'm still in awe that I have all of you tuning in with me every Sunday night. I really have grown to love my Sunday nights as much as you guys tell me you now love your Sunday nights because you get to watch me, whether it's stamping or fumbling or <laughs> whatever it may be. I do appreciate that you're here and I appreciate that all your kind comments are fabulous. I appreciate your orders. I appreciate you sharing. Whether you're on YouTube later watching this or on Facebook right now, please share my video. Just go right up there and click on that share button. That really helps me out. I so appreciate that. Yeah, Teresa says that's a lot of cards in a short amount of time. Well, remember, I didn't put all these together. I just put this one together and then showed you these. But I did stamp and punch all the stuff, right? But I wanted to show you how cool it is and how beautiful this stamp set is that you can make a whole set of cards like this, just like that. I mean, it's quick and easy. And I didn't even use this stamp or this stamp. So, I mean, there's so many possibilities there. But yeah, this is a really fun, um, I had a lot of fun designing these. I actually came home from my mom's house today. I don't remember what time I got home. But um, I laid down to take just a little cat nap and then the, Steve's phone rang and he was talking. He talks really loud on the phone. And then he yells at me because I talk loud on the phone. It's like, you talk loud too. So I couldn't sleep. Maybe got a little 10 minute cat nap in. And then I got up and got busy. And I've been having fun all, after, all day. All day I've had fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your kind comments. I really do appreciate it. Um, what do I have coming up this week? I have Stamp Club on Tuesday. I'm going to be in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for my Stamp Club. And let me look at my little calendar. Let's see if I have any blog hops this week. This week, um, oh, yep, Control Freaks are hopping on Tuesday. So I have that going on. 
and um, I have the Creative Inking Blog Hop on Wednesday night, and then my Totally Techniques Global Blog Hop is Friday, and then I'm going to Omro, Wisconsin to do another home party with Janice Everhard, um, and I can't hardly wait. Those are so, so fun. So, lots of stuff going on this week. I'm going to be a busy girl. I will get all those prizes to the post office on Tuesday because it's closed tomorrow. Thanks, you guys, for letting me know that because I did know it was President's Day, but I kind of forgot. All right. I think we're good. It's only 20 after 8. I think I did pretty darn good, right? <laughs> you guys have yourselves a fabulous week. Um, I'll have another video coming out Wednesday, my Wednesday tip video. And um, also with the blog, blog hops, I usually do a video with all of those. I can't wait to see what I come up with because I have no idea what I'm making. <laughs> have yourselves a good week, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.